Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to blend two animations together, specifically two Mixamo animations together. And so to start this, of course, you're going to need to go into Mixamo. And the first thing you do is just download the, pick a character and download them in T-Pose with the skin. And then what you're going to do is we're going to pick two animations to download and then we're going to try to blend them together and see how well it, how well it goes. Now, in exploring this, the one thing I will tell you is that not all animations blend well. And one of the, the key things you need to look at is the feet position. I haven't calculated it out, but there's quite a few animations that you're not going to be able to blend successfully because of the position of the feet. The other solution to that would be don't film the feet then. If you're not going to film the full body, you might be able to blend the upper body not even focus on the feet then. So that might be a cheat that you can do. You'll see, like if we were to try to combine, like let's say, I don't know, let's look at like a, uh, or is there a wake up here? We're gonna spend a few minutes just messing around looking at some of these animations. But like if you were to try to combine like a sleeping, a sleeping animation. So I've already downloaded this character in T-Pose. And when you download it, download it with the skin. Let me just, how about maybe I have a, get, a waking up. Maybe is there a waking up? Well, a good one would be like here, you know, like if you tried to combine this where the feet are totally changing in 180 degrees, that would be hard. And a getting up, I'm, I'm trying to get one like getting off the ground or falling down or something. Getting up. Let's see if I have that. My internet is really sluggish today. Oh, here's like this one. See, for some reason it's not... Uh, it's not updating over here so I don't know if something's going on with the website you'll see like him getting up and how much his feet are shifting around and if you if you tried to combine like with all this foot movement here you tried to combine this with an idle or something like receiving an uppercut and going into idle it would be really hard because of the the position of the of the rig be really hard to blend that transition together but what we might be able to blend together is let's say let's say if we wanted to go from idle let me get an idle one here idle here's here's an idle right here and I notice the feet are kind of close together here's an idle here too so just pay attention to the feet so it's not updating here for some reason so I'm going to go ahead and download this one, and I'm going to download this without the skin. Without the skin, download, and that one's done. I've already downloaded some other ones here already. And then I'm going to download a salute, because I already looked at that one. So just be mindful, like this one right here, the salute. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to download this one without the skin download and then we're just going to jump into unreal engine so now i'm in unreal engine right now i'm in 5.3.2 and i'm just on a basic level in the third person template and i have starter content in here so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and import those animations so the first one we're going to do we got to go into here add that's right import to game yeah that's right uh download here and i want this t-pose one so I'm going to go ahead and import that. And it doesn't have a skeleton. There's one here under advanced and we want to click that and go import all. We're going to get this some sort of name clash thing. Let's see how bad does it look. It was just renamed so I'm not going to worry about that. So we've got our character in here now. And now I'm just going to go download those two animations. So we'll come over here, import to game, and I've got the idle here open. And it goes to the T-Post skeleton, that's what we want. Import. And then we're going to get the other one, add, import, salute, open, import all. And that animation comes in. So now I've got my salute. And you'll notice here on the feet. See how the feet are... Well, here they're spaced a little ways apart. Here they're a little closer. 
So hopefully that won't be too noticeable, but we'll have to see. I haven't, I haven't actually tried combining these two animations. So this is actually fairly simple to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to go into cinematics level sequencer right here. And we're going to double click into it and we're going to go add to sequencer. Oops, sorry. I got ahead of myself. I need to get the skeletal mesh and T-pose and add them to the scene. And actually, this character is actually a pretty cool character. And this would be a good character to work with because you can't really see his mouth. So this would be a good character for working in a, in, with a film because you could add the voiceover and have the character movement and he could be talking like you could do something to the voice, add reverb, create effect as if he's talking and you don't have to worry about lip sync or anything like that. So these kind of characters are fantastic for working with, adding in the, the vocals. So anyway, we got that. Okay, so now we're gonna go to Sequencer and with that selected, we'll go to Track, Add to Sequencer, Add T-Pose. And he comes in right there. And now for the animation, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Animation and we have our two animations here so we're going to get the idle here and let me hit control on the keyboard and scroll out and we're going to make this a little bit longer animation here and we can stretch this one out too so it's about i don't know that's about 10 seconds maybe of idling and this is really cool because what we can do is come in here to animation and then oh what I want to do is with my my playhead here, I want to move it to the end here because that's where the animation will come in once we add it. So I'll move it right to the end there. And we can zoom in on that point here. As a matter of fact, I know we want to zoom in on this, this little intersection here. So let's just put it right on the edge there. Right on the edge. And then we're going to go animation add the salute and it comes in right next to it yeah it's right next to it and if we were to hit play let me zoom out here a little bit i can go to the front and hit play you'll see he's in idle mode now watch this transition that happens that you see that little jump that happened so I can drag this back. You see the, the jump, how his feet come together. So actually that almost kind of works because, but it's a, it's a little abrupt, right? So what's amazing about this, let me zoom in here even more. And you might have to experiment with this is you just simply cross fade it. And you'll see here, there's a cross fade where the weight in the one is decreasing while the other one and you might just have to play around with this and see how smooth you can get that transition. See how that's actually pretty smooth. I'm, I'm surprised that worked out really well. Again, looking at the feet position, right? And then let's say we want to put this guy back into idle. I'll drag this to the end of the sequencer right, right there. That track right there, zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to add the idle back in. Now it brought it in on another track, but I can just pop it up here. And you see here, wait, this used to be for blending animations, but we can just blend them by crossfading them. So we'll just crossfade this one too. Let's say here, does it say how many frames it, it crossed over? here 250 frames well that's a total animation okay so let's just do the same about the same length here so these look pretty much the same so let's match up and let's see what this looks like I'll go back to the beginning I'll zoom out on the whole track right now and we can actually stretch this all the way out to the end here I guess it pulls the whole thing. So I'll just leave it like that for right now. I'll just close it up here. 
And if we hit play, let's see what this looks like. It's kind of like that on Dune, the Sadokar. Sadokar. <laughs> if I look at this one now on the... That seems like that transition was a little more abrupt for some reason. I don't know, the, the going out. So maybe we could cross this in a little bit more. So you can just play around with these. You know, turn off snapping, because that's causing me some issues there. I should have mentioned that. So let's look at this. There's one other thing I noticed is that his arms are going into his uh, uniform, it looks like there. And when this was in Mixamo, we should have adjusted the arm, spa arm space. So remember to do that next time. So we don't have to do that in Unreal Engine. So let's take a look at this and see how this looks. We'll go back to the beginning. And so obviously there's some playing around that you need to do, but let's see, where are we? Here we go. I'd like to see that just a little bit slower on the, uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just push that in a little bit more. Let's just come back here, hold on. I won't play it, I'll play it from here. It's not bad. So now we've actually combined these animations together to help us get our story across. And like I said, just be aware of the feet position and you should be okay. So I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.